Hey guys! Today I wanted to talk about something that has been a major part in my life that I for some reason have never talked about on this channel before. I have gotten a few questions about this so I thought that I might just tell you in a video and that is my time as an au pair in America. If you don't know what an au pair is, it is a cultural exchange where you go abroad and live with a family in return for childcare. Pretty much like you are a live-in nanny, however you get the benefits of experiencing a new culture firsthand. I personally loved my time as an au pair and I have only good things to say about the whole experience. When I was in my final year of high school, I was very aware that I didn't want to start university right after I graduated. I needed a gap year and I remember that there was a poster in my high school that read experience the American dream as an au pair. I'd always wanted to go to America and I was already working with kids so I was like hell yeah! I signed on with an agency called Cultural Care Au Pair. Now you don't have to go with an agency but I would recommend it because it kind of provides a safety net you wouldn't have otherwise especially if you are a young person going far away from home. Going with an agency, they just make sure that you get all the preparation and training that you need before you go as well. Now the application process for finding a family can be very long or very fast. It's very individual. The matching process is mutual so both the au pair and the family has to say yes to each other. It's not like you just get placed with a random family. I think it is so important to make sure like 100% sure that you have the right family for you before you say yes. I mean this is not a normal job interview. You sign on for not only working for them but living with them. And if you still have doubts after writing and skyping with a family, please don't go with that family. They're probably not the right one for you. You should sign off from the Skype conversations with butterflies in your stomach. You should be excited and you should have a good feeling. After I'd handed in my application, I got one match straight away. Um, there was something with that family that just didn't seem right for me, so I didn't go with them. Um, the second match also just kind of wasn't for me, not at all. They were just, we didn't clash personality wise. Um, on the third family, I just fell in love and that's the family I ended up going with and living with for two years of my life, so yay! So that was that and off to America I went. First week in America was really weird but really fun. Through cultural care you have to go to au pair training school. <laughs> Basically boot camp for nannies, so cool. Cultural care's training school is in Long Island and no matter where in the US you have been placed, you have to go by training school for a week beforehand and get trained to be the best au pair you can be. During the training school week you get placed in a class with au pairs that are going to be in the same state as you. I know a lot of the states are really big but generally like au pairs are around big cities so you will find people that are going to be in your general area. So it's a good way of making friends and you also have classes about everything from American culture to childcare. I remember one day we had a three hour lecture teaching us to never shake a baby. I think all au pairs can unite in the fact that we know never shake a baby. After the training school week you get all put on planes and buses and shuffled out. Now my family was living in New Jersey so I got put on a bus and I remember being so nervous on the bus. I remember all the au pairs were just completely quiet, which never happened. Like one thing is Skyping with the families, but now things suddenly got real and we'd have to leave the bus and get into a car with these strangers that you're gonna live with for at least a year. Like I was still really excited, but I remember shaking. And as we pulled up to the place uh, where we were being dropped off, I remember seeing all the families. There they were, all of these families waiting for that person that they had carefully picked out to take care of their children and invite into their homes. And that's when I got really emotional and happy and excited and uh, I didn't actually see my family from the bus, but as everyone was leaving the bus, like walking like, very nervously up to their families, I saw this one family with the biggest sign that says welcome to America and flowers and I was like that's my family. They'd gone all out and I felt so appreciated and welcomed and I went straight over to them like the kids gave me hugs immediately. 
they seemed lovely and I wasn't at all nervous of getting into a car with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> I went home with my family and we got along so nicely. It was quite a big family. We had the mom, the dad, the two kids, a boy and a girl. Uh, we also had the grandparents living um, in the house and two dogs and two cats, so full house. <laughs> my hours would generally be 7 till 9 in the morning when I would take the kids, um, wake them up and bring them to school and then I would be off from 9 till 3 um, or 3.30 ish where I would pick up the kids and take them to whatever sort of after school activities they had. The au pair job itself is really weird and it's definitely not for everyone. First of all because you live at work, normal jobs you can just go home and unwind but here you have to be on 24-7 all year. Second of all, because you live with your bosses. I feel like one of the main issues you might face as an au pair is not getting along with the host's parents. If that is because you believe the way they are raising their children is not the way you would raise yours, or they might not treat you as part of the family as much, or you might just not get along with them that much. It is so important to try to create a good relationship with the parents as well, because otherwise you're just kind of this random person living in their house. Obviously, this goes both ways. It is really important for the parents to make sure that the au pair feels comfortable being around them. My family did this really well with me by just simply inviting me to do things with them. Um, if that meant watching TV after the kids had gone to bed in the living room, um, a lot of our parents doesn't feel comfortable doing that without being asked first. So if you're a family and you have trouble with that, invite them to do things. Ah, because we're young. We don't know what is acceptable. My host mom and me, we would go shopping together. We would go and get many petties, have like girly time. Um, and me and the dad would um, go to concerts together, which was really fun. And I felt really included in the family. You know, just hang out. It shouldn't feel awkward. You are not just the employee. You're a part of the family. Having spoken to so many au pairs through the years, most of the problems do occur when the au pair and the family are not communicating good enough. Do make sure that you communicate properly, especially in the beginning when the au pair is still really insecure about what is okay to do or not. Like you might want the au pair to sort of um, join you when she is technically off hours, but she will sit in her room being like, oh, I feel too awkward going downstairs. Like, you know what I mean? So make sure you talk to each other. <laughs> in this job, you obviously have to love working with children to enjoy it. You're not just going to the US to, you know, experience the US and to party, whatever you, you're working and you're working with children and the people that you will spend most time with our kids. You have to have a playful yet patient personality and you have to find the balance between friend and parent, which can sometimes be tricky. The most giving things about this job is the kids. I think that everyone who has ever had kids or worked with kids will agree that sometimes they might be a pain in the ass, sometimes they might drive you to the point where you want to go and sit in a corner and cry, but when they hug you and tell you they love you, it's all worth it. Now I stayed with my family for two years, which is the longest you can stay on like an au pair working visa. That's a long time. And I always look back on that time with a big smile on my face, like, mm -hmm. I am incredibly grateful to them for making me a part of their family. And um, yeah, I miss them a lot. Right, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. If you have any sort of questions about being an au pair, please comment below and I will do my best in answering them. Otherwise, remember to like and subscribe if you want more videos and I will see you again soon. Bye.